Welcome to What's Now, a show where we talk about what is trending. And on today's episode, we'll be focusing on things you can watch, your health, and more. Up first, there's a new show on BYU TV called Survivalists, where families have to head out to the wild with no technology. Let's find out more. Right now, we are talking about a show called Survivalists on BYU TV, all about if families can survive in the wild without technology. Here to tell us more is Colin O'Brady. He is host of the show, also best-selling author and mountaineer. Colin, thanks for joining us here on Park City Television. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so excited to be here and uh, so excited for Survivalists to premiere on Tuesday. Well, I love the concept of this show, and honestly, I don't think my kids my family would survive. No, you would do great. You know, what's amazing about this show is we've got families from all different backgrounds. You know, of course, you got to be adventurous. I'm taking you, you know, through a multi-day expedition where families get to uh, compete against each other for a cash prize, but uh, ultimately come out with some amazing lessons from uh, uh, the adventure and the experience of competing against each other and overcoming obstacles in the backcountry. So tell me more about the families that are participating and some of the adventures that they have. Yeah, so uh, first I test their survival skills, you know, see who can light fat fire the fastest or set up a tent, etc. And uh, depending on how they do in that, they get some advantages uh, in the competition. But then they take them, I take them on a multi-day expedition uh, through the backcountry where they're competing against each other. Um, you know, they're rock climbing, they're orienteering, they're hiking up mountains, they're, uh, you know, stand up paddle boarding, rafting, um, all different adventures you'd have in the wild, basically uh, like a long obstacle course or race course. And whoever gets the finish on the last day first uh, claims the $10,000 prize. It sounds like the families, I'm sure they bond together and learn how to work with each other, but I'm also sure that there's some high tension moments. Yeah, you know, one thing I love and why it's great, you know, hosting this show is I've spent a lot of time in the backcountry. I've set 10 world records, uh, you know, pushing myself in the backcountry. But I grew up as a kid, you know, in the outdoors with my family. And what's amazing about that when we step outside of our comfort zones is, that, like you said, of course, it's going to, you know, show uh, some challenges out there. There's certainly some disagreements in that. But ultimately, what's beautiful about this show, even the families that don't necessarily come in first, um, they bond, you know, setting aside your technologies setting aside your phone, being present with your family and uh, having to overcome these challenges out there ultimately generally brings people together in a beautiful way, which has lasting impacts. And that's what's so fun about this show, just the, the inspiration and positivity, despite, of course, the inevitable drama and challenges that they all go through. And how do you think viewers will relate to this show, especially in light of where we are right now with current events, with COVID-19, with politics, everything that's going on? Do you think that will really actually have viewers feel more connected to what's happening out in the backcountry with these families. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're going through a time right now where obviously I think every person is facing some level of challenges and it's a, you know, a divisive time where, you know, there's a lot of fighting on both sides of the aisle, et cetera. And this show is really um, just about bringing people together. Yeah, they're they're facing some challenges like we all are, but ultimately I think it exemplifies the power of the human spirit, which we all have inside of us, this power to achieve amazing things. I believe we all have reservoirs of untapped potential inside of us. And so I think there's something really beautiful in a time like this to just see something where, yeah, Yes, people are facing challenges and we can all relate to that, but also seeing people overcome those challenges and uh, really succeed, I think, is a great metaphor for the moments that many of us are going through in our own lives right now. And what made you ultimately decide to be a part of this show? Um, you know, I was drawn to hosting this show uh, because, as, a, as I said before, as a kid, I grew up in the backcountry with my family. You know, long before, you know, yes, I was the first person to cross Antarctica solo. I've climbed Mount Everest. I've set world records. But long before that, I was, uh, you know, hiking and biking with my family uh, in the Pacific Northwest where I grew up. And so many of my most important life lessons um, were derived from those experiences as a kid. So it's really fun for me to host and facilitate those experiences um, for these for these families and, and these kids and teenagers. Um, because I just know not only just what they're learning about themselves in the backcountry, but more importantly, what lessons they can take with them throughout their entire life is just um, so unique and powerful. Um, and I really just believe in the power of that. And how can we get more information and how can we watch ultimately? 
Yeah, so uh, this premieres uh, October 13th, Tuesday, on BYU TV. Um, BYU TV is on uh, many people's cable subscriptions, Dish, Dish Network, etc., but also it's completely free online, so BYUtv.org, or you can download the app. There's no subscription. Literally anybody can download it. It's free. Um, so download the app and uh, tune in to Survivalist. Uh, I can't wait for you to check out the show, and I, I know you're going to love it. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to watching sure my family is going to learn a lot from it. Thank you so much, Colin O'Brady, host of the new show Survivalist on BYU TV, for joining us today. Thank you.